guys what's up welcome back to another edition of intuitive angling and really appreciate you guys checking the video out today and we are going to be talking about what the cooler nights of september how they affect bass movement behavior and how they affect fish biting because i want to do this video because i woke up this morning it's september 12th when i did this video and it was the coolest morning that we've had since probably man early early may of, of you know four or five months ago so you know fall is in the air fall is right around the corner and this is the first um cold not it's really cold but this is the first cool snap that we've had and i've noticed that every single morning it's gotten a little bit cooler not like you know where it's you feel it and you feel uncomfortably cold but you can tell the temperatures are starting to cool off by a degree or two every night and with that the bass definitely make a change and they definitely make a move and we're going to talk about that in today's video uh, before we get started guys just want to remind you um, to check out our new feature here on the channel on the youtube homepage. if you click across the screen you'll see a thing that says store and there's a bunch of products that i put in there i thought you guys might be interested in they've, they've got a limited amount of fishing products that we're allowed to put in there as far as we're you know manufacturers but if you guys click through there see something you like and you order it uh, through that link it's a good way to support the channel so much appreciated okay guys september cooling off um here's what's going on with that no it's it's like every year it's sort of like this to some extent um and usually you know with with the whole you know advent of climate change we see our summers hanging on a little bit longer so we see quite a bit warmer weather than normal uh up into september than we used to you know like 30 40 years ago i remember when i was when i was younger but what happens is normally by the second week of september like we're in now you start to see a little bit of cooling off i mean the daylight or hours are shorter you know sun's getting a little bit further away from the earth every day and that's just sort of the natural progression with that and what you have there's a couple different things that are changing right now as far as in terms of what the fish are doing and how that cooler nights are affecting them there's two primary ones i want to talk about today the first thing it does which i, I think a lot of people may not be aware of is um it changes the size and profile of the lure that the bass really like to hit. Now, if you've watched the videos much I've done over the past month, you've heard me talk a lot about small baits, downsizing into small crank baits, small spinner baits, small buzzers, you know, going small. Because in August, early part of September, um, they just bite them better. I mean, you just, those are two tough months of the year and smaller baits work better. But as you start getting these cooler nights like we're having right now, there's a significant transition in the fish preferring larger size lures. And it happens pretty quick, really. I mean, when you start to have, like say a five degree uh, water temperature drop over the course of a week or two, sometimes that can completely flip it around and they go from small baits to fairly large baits real quick. That's the first thing that happens. So one of the things that you can do is if you've been fishing like small crankbaits or something like that, go up a size, go to a bigger crankbait. If you've been fishing a quarter or three eighths ounce buzz bait, go up to half ounce buzzer. If you've been flipping a little finesse jig, go up to maybe a full size three eighths ounce uh, finesse jig. Begin upsizing your lures. And this is also the time of the year where the, uh, the big visual lures start to work better. You know, again, the top waters, the bigger swim baits, the glide baits, it's, something like i said that happens really quick and it happens every single year and it will continue to be along that trend up until november so about the next month and a half you're going to start noticing a lot with that now in correlation with that another factor that you're going to start noticing in september what these cooler weather cooler nights do to it is weather becomes more of a factor as far as uh, the aggressiveness of the fish now in the summertime the, the su in my opinion guys the summer has the least amount of effect on the personality and mood of a bass it's like it just doesn't affect them that much cold fronts don't affect them that much you know wind or lack of wind doesn't you don't notice a big difference but once that water temperature starts cooling off with these cool nights you start noticing the bass being very very sensitive to weather changes in terms of things that make them aggressive one of the first things that you'll notice in september when that water temperature starts dropping is that wind becomes really critical. It's like, for the most part, you start to have not a huge movement. It's depending upon the lake that you have. If you've got a clear, deep clear water lake, you're gonna have a lot more fish staying deep, but you tend to have a more shallow 
moving a fish in once that water temperature starts dropping a little bit in September. And with that, it's very critical to have wind. If you don't have wind in a lot of these situations, it's very difficult to get that fi those fish to bite. But if you have a windy day, particularly a wind out of the south or southwest with some type of a maybe a steady or falling barometric pressure, that will activate those fish in a big way if you have that correlating water temperature drop with it. So it's something that sort of one of those deals that I, I don't really understand it. It's just, it's an observation on my part, you know, you know why they do that. So take advantage of that. And finally, the third thing that happens on these cool nights in September is that the fish like to chase more. They, they, they go more for moving and reaction bait. So um, one of the things I would suggest once you start seeing a drop mid late September, start spending more time with your reaction lures, uh, baits that you know trigger reaction strikes, like your chatter baits, your spinner baits, your crank baits, you know, swim baits, something that you can move horizontally through the water column at different rates of speed. And it seems like to me <clears throat> that gets a lot more bites over about the next month than fishing like a you know shaky head or a worm or a jig or something like that. Now once November gets here and that water temperature starts getting down, you know, November and December, when that water starts getting down into the 50s, um, then the slower baits start working again. I start catching them, you know, pretty good on a finesse jig that time of year. But again, like I said, one of the things I've noticed, again, I know a lot of you guys unsubscribe when I mention the world climate change. I don't know why. But anyway, I, I, as it's, I've observed from fishing over the fat last 50 years that we have warmer Novembers and Decembers water temperature wise than we ever have. So given that fact, um, that delays everything a little bit. So that whole aspect, and I'm gonna do a video at some point on how climate change is affecting bass movement behavior because it is affecting it because it affects the entire biology and food chain of the lake from the from the plankton and the algae and the, you know, the little small bait fish all up the food chain. So we'll have a video at some point about that. But anyway, guys, main thing is uh, fish moving lures, uh, you know, upsize your lures, start fishing them a little bit bigger and take advantage of that wind, those windy days, and it's going to help you catch them in September. So see you guys later. See.